you're like most people, you probably open the same set of websites each time you use your computer. If you want a quick and simple way to open multiple websites all at the same time, I'll show you how to create a desktop shortcut that will save you time to quickly access your favorite sites. This works for any browser like Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Firefox, Vivaldi, Brave, or any other browser you have installed, and no coding experience is required. Let's get started. To begin, open your favorite text editor. Since Notepad is included with Windows 10, we'll use that. Go to the search bar in the lower left and type Notepad. Select it. In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to create batch files to open multiple sites in your default browser, and after that for a specific browser that may not be your default. Simply put, batch files contain a series of commands that get executed when you run the file. For those of you that have never created a batch file, no worries, I'll go at a slower pace than usual. Those we'll be creating are quite basic. To create a batch file shortcut for your default browser, enter the following on the first line. Begin with the at symbol, the word echo, add a space, then the word off. Now for the following lines, begin each line with start, followed by a space, and the name of the website. I'll just copy and paste it into here. To avoid any errors, it's important to use the full URL beginning with HTTPS. If you need to, just copy the URL from the address bar of your web browser and paste it here, and you can enter as many lines as you want. Let's add a couple more. Remember to begin with start, followed by the site. And let's do a third one. After entering your sites, you'll need to save it as a .bat file. So here at the top, go to File and select Save As. Now choose the location of your saved file. I find the desktop to be the most convenient place for it. Give your file a name, name it whatever you want, followed by .bat. I'll just call this one Favorite Sites. .bat. When you're done, click on Save. And we'll close out Notepad. After you've saved your file, when you double click the file, it'll open the multiple sites you entered in your default browser in different tabs. For testing purposes, my default browser is the Chromium Microsoft Edge, and as you can see, it opened all the sites. If you ever need to edit your file to remove or add websites to it, right click on the file and select Edit. Add or remove as needed. I'll get rid of this one here, and I'll add another site to this, beginning with Start, Space, and the site. After making your changes, go to File, and click on Save. Close out Notepad again. You might notice the icon changes for the batch file. Don't worry about it. It will still run when you double click on it. To create a batch file shortcut for a specific browser installed on your computer, the steps are similar with a minor tweak. Once again, let's open Notepad, go to the search bar, type Notepad, and select it. For the first line, once again enter the at symbol, the word echo, followed by space, and the word off. For the following lines, enter start, space, the name of the browser, another space, followed by the URL of that website. For the name of the browser, where I entered Chrome, you can enter any installed browser like Firefox, Vivaldi, Brave, Opera, etc. But for Microsoft Edge, you need to enter MS Edge to avoid any errors. I'll switch this one back to Chrome. Let's add a couple more. Start, space, Chrome, or the name of any other browser, another space, followed by the URL of the site. And for the last one, start, the name of the browser, and the site. Just like the previous example to save, go to File and Save As. Choose the location and name your file with .bat at the end. For this one, I'll call it technology.bat. When you're done, click on Save. Let's close out Notepad, then double click the file you just created to open your sites for the browser you selected. For those of you that have never created a batch file before, not only did you learn how to open multiple sites at once without having to open your browser first, I also tricked you into creating your very first batch file. So congratulations to you. 
Batch files are a great way to speed up routine tasks and can be as simple as this one I just showed you or as complex as you want them to be. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned something new today. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. Let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in additional batch tutorials. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and click the notification bell for more technology guides and other tech related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.